There is so much money to be made with real estate, it's unreal. And the good news is, there is no shortage of supply. There will always be houses, apartments and properties for sale on the market. Now the main issue that most people face with real estate is that it usually requires a lot of money in order to generate money, which means that very often you need a hefty initial investment or some solid financial backings anyways. But today I'd like to introduce you to a different way of making money with real estate and all this without having to invest thousands of dollars. Alright, so let me show you very briefly and then you can decide whether or not you want to watch the rest of this video. Very good, so with real estate you can either buy the property and flip it for a profit or you can advertise it on your own for your own earn a commission when the deal is done. So today I'm going to show you how you can have access to thousands of properties across the United States, Canada and Mexico that you can import on your own website in just a few clicks of the mouse and start earning commissions. And all of this just for a tiny cost starting at just $199. And welcome to Realtina, a solution fully dedicated to real estate technology that is a feature-rich platform for WordPress websites. And with it, you can promote thousands of available properties directly on your website thanks to a one-time license purchase. And of course, this solution is highly customizable to fit your personal branding and preferences. And it is a fully comprehensive solution, which means that you won't need to source any other add-ons to make it work, as everything is provided under one roof. And the beauty of this system, it works perfectly with all types of devices, desktop computers, laptops, tablets, or phones. But if you really want to step it up a notch or two, you can also acquire their iOS and Android app, which can be linked directly to your website's database. So whatever your users will see on the app is the exact same as on your website. And all of this is possible thanks to their organic MLS integration, which means that you can fetch thousands of properties using IDX, RETS and XML. And to make sure that people find those properties on your website, it comes with a fantastic feature which allows your listing pages to be indexed by search engines, plus automatic featured listings and advanced MLS search. And of course, if you want to make sure that you don't miss a sale, you can get access to a ready-made, fully compatible CRM system too, with again, so many features as well. Lead generation and management, lead monitoring, multiple lead assignment method, you can even assign multiple agents, use ticketing system and even SMS notifications. So there you go, as you can see, this is quite a comprehensive solution we have here. And if you are serious about making money promoting real estate properties on your website, then this is most likely one of those solutions that will help you do exactly that. Very good. Now let me show you how this works. Okay, very good. So first, let's address the price of this solution. Okay, so as you can see, this is the realtina.com website and we have different options here, option one and option two. So the one we're going to discover today is option one, which is probably the one that's more suited to you unless you are already an estate agent or broker, in which case you won't need the MLS integration, uh, which is this one here, the feed. Basically, we should already have access to this. But regardless of that, let me show you very quickly here. So basically here, what we need is the WPL Pro. So this is the WordPress plugin that you need to install on your WordPress installation to make all of this feasible and accessible. And once we have this, we need the MLS add-on as well. So like we said, for just $199, you can get started. But obviously, you need access to all the properties available throughout the United States, Canada, and Mexico, or whichever region you cover, basically, you know. And this comes at a cost of $950. So there's basically an initial investment of $1149. And then we have an ongoing cost of $49. US So this is basically to have access to the database, the MLS feed, as you can see here. So this is $49 US per month, and that's basically it. So this is quite a small investment you have to agree compared to buying properties and with this you can actually earn as much commission as you want. So the beauty of this system as well once you purchase the MLS add-on it comes with basically the full configuration so data feed setup and configuration is included at no extra cost uh, when you purchase this one here. So this is also the beauty of this system. You don't have to worry about anything, any technical, uh, the technical side of things, okay? And one more thing related to price, we also have the MLS Sync. So MLS Sync is a subscription service where Realtina serves as the vendor 
or the MLS data. So let me show you very quickly here in the FAQ section. There it is. So what are the MLS Sync fees? One time setup fee of $950 and a monthly fee based on the chosen MLS starting at $59. US and once you have this up and running, and again, they will install all of that for you, you will end up with a very professional looking website. So with a beautiful hero section like this one with a search feature. And if we scroll down with all the latest properties, so this will be shown on Google Maps. So I'm going to show you how to set this up in a moment with all the different properties being listed here just underneath. And then after this, we have a short about us section, our featured properties. We have testimonials from our clients. We have our best agents, a contact us form, and then the photo section. So all of this is fully customizable, obviously, you know. And as you can see, you can end up with a beautiful, really professional looking website. Now, let me show you something very interesting. Uh, the folks at Realtina are offering all our viewers and subscribers a specific discount. If you use the coupon code REVIEWS150, you get $150 discount on any of those bundles. So today we are going to discover this one here, which is the basics at 1499, which has WPL Pro and organic MLS integration. And then now I'm going to show you how you can customize all of this from the WordPress backend. So we go to our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see by the side with all our different tabs and the most important one is this one WPL. So basically all of this is done and installed for us, uh, all included in the cost of 1499. So you don't have to worry about a thing. All we do now is just to customize everything to fit our own requirements and perhaps your own branding. Speaking of which, let's go and start by uh, changing the content of our website. So here we have our logo. So let's start with this. OK, so we go to appearance, customize. Very good. And as you can see by the side with our menu section here, and this is basically a preview of our website. So if you wanted to change the logo, all you have to do is just hover on top. You can see that blue pencil next to it. Click on this and this is going to bring us to the, the exact section where we can change it. OK, so basically from here, you can remove it, delete it all together or you can change the logo, which is what we want to do here. So we click on change logo and we're going to upload a new file. So select file. I found one here online, a random real estate logo, you know. And let me hide myself for a second. As you can see here by the side, we have a select. So click on this. But if you wanted to crop the image, you can use those uh, dots here, you know, to resize that basically to the desired uh, size that you want. And you can even move this around all together. But I'm just going to skip cropping because this size is fine, you know. There you go. Now, as you can see, this logo is way too big for our purpose here. So what we can do is that we can edit this now, okay? So we click on change logo again. You can see the suggested size is 150 by 150. The old logo was 207 by 55. So let's go some, somewhere uh, near that size. OK, so we click on this and you have edit image here. So let's click on edit image. So let's try the same here. Maybe let's try maybe by, by 70. OK, so 96 by 70. Now we can scale this down. This is our preview. If you're happy enough, click update. There you go. I can close this window. Let's go back here. We close this and let's click on change logo again. Let's click on this one. And as you can see now, it's been resized to 96 by 70 pixels. So let's click on select. We can skip cropping again. And there you go. As you can see now, our logo is resized and it looks perfect in that corner. As you can see, we have matching colors as well. That wasn't done on purpose. But anyways, that's an extra plus. So we have our details here, as you can see, call us and email us. So how can you change those details? Very easy. Again, all we have to do is go here where it says header, click on this. And there you go. As you can see, we have the phone number and the email address here. So if you wanted to change your email address to something else, so maybe hello at mrwebreviews.com. And you can do the same with your phone number, for instance, plus one and then five, five, five. And then your phone number or something like this, you know, and as you can see, it's changing here to the new value that we just entered. OK, so this is how easily you can change your details here in the header. And then we have a few additional options here underneath, as you can see, user links. So this is to enable the login register and other sorts of links that's going to show up here. So if you enable this, for instance, you can see now log out because we're logged in at the moment. But this is very helpful, especially for your visitors. So they don't have to look anywhere else. This is your main menu and this is the call to action menu, basically. OK, and then we have the search feature as well. So this is the magnifying glass here. So you do want to display it. Yes or no. If they click on it, they can search throughout the whole website or you just want them to use this feature here. This is also really up to you. 
So we have the social media icon. So you want to redirect people to your, maybe your Facebook page, your Twitter page, or LinkedIn and so on. If this is the case, switch this on here. And now that it is switched on, as you can see, it is not displaying anything yet. And the reason why is because we have to go back to the main menu here and we have to enter our details here where it says social. So this is a special section just for this. And from here, you're going to insert basically the landing page and the link to your social media platform. So if you were to add Twitter, for instance, I'm just going to add one here like this, you know. Now, as you can see by the side, we have a link to our Twitter platform. So that's basically how it works. OK, so now we can go back here. Let's go back to our header. And then there's a few more options. You can decide whether or not you want it to be a sticky header. So basically, when you scroll down the page, do you want it to stay on top and to show the menu bar? So if this is the case, if you enable this, and if we scroll down, the menu section will always be on top. So again, this is just a matter of preferences. Uh, some people prefer it with a uh, sticky header. Some people prefer it without. This is just a matter of taste again, you know. And then you can change the layout, obviously, the type of... Uh, menu you want on top so type one type two type three just feel free to play around with this you know again this is just a matter of preferences very good and underneath we have our menu section so if you click on the small pencil here you can select the the menu that you want to display as you can see of main menu and properties so i will show you later in this video how you can create your menu and change and add any pages to it but first let me show you how you can change the content of your page here okay and then you can reproduce that with as many pages as you want and then assign them your menu section here on top so for this we go back to our wordpress dashboard we go to the pages and we have the home page here as you can see this is the front page and it's using elementor as well which is super super handy and super uh, user friendly as well so what we do now to edit this is click on edit with elementor as you can see a few different options here uh, edit quick edit trash view and edit with elementor because this was built using elementor we are going to edit with elementor okay so let's click on this and welcome to Elementor. So if it's your first time using Elementor, it's very intuitive, super user friendly. As you can see by the side here, we have a preview of our website. If you hover on top, you can see all these blue sections here and everything, all the different uh, elements of our page. And then all of these here by the side are called elements. These are all widgets basically, and you can insert them on your page by a simple drag and drop. So this is basically it, you know, if you wanted to add a heading here, drag and drop it. And as you can see, this is our new header. If you click, if you click on it, you can edit its content. So I'm just going to remove this one for now. So delete. There you go. So let's take care of our page here, the content of our home page. So again, let me show you very quickly. So if you hover on top, if you click on this, this is a section. And every section is made out of columns. As you can see, there's only one here, but you can have two or three perhaps sometimes, you know. And every column has different elements. So if I click on this one here, this one is a heading. I click on this one here. This one is a short code. If we scroll down the page, let's go to the next one here. So for instance, this here, we click on this. As you can see, this is called property listing and so on and so on. OK, so this is basically how this works. Very user friendly again, as mentioned. OK, so the first thing we're going to change is the background image here to make it more personalized, you know. So let's click on the section here, those six dots, as you can see, edit section. We're going to style and this is where the image is. OK, so now we can change this with whatever image we want all together. So let's click on this. Let's upload a new file. Select file. So I found two different images. I uploaded one already. So let's open this one. Again, let me hide myself. So you have this one here and this one. So we'll try both of them and see which one is best. So let's insert the media. So that looks OK, I think. Yeah, let's try the other one just to be sure. I think they look both very nice, but this one is a bit more crisp and more sharp. So we can keep this one perhaps. OK, and as you can see now, our headline here, heading, sorry, uh, says find your desired home. So you might want to change this perhaps. So maybe you're only selling properties in Florida. Maybe this is where your area is located. So maybe you want to add something like find a perfect Florida property or something like this. You know, this is very easy. Again, as I said, all you have to do is just type in the text that you want to display here. Now, as you may have noticed, there's not much contrast between the text and the background now. So you can add either a bit of shadow effect to the letter or you can add a background to the whole section. So which is probably the best option here. So let's click on the main section here. As you can see, this is our column. We go to style. We go to background type. We're going to select a color and let's go with a dark color like this. And now we're going to add a bit of transparency just like this, you know, a tad, just a little bit, just like this. OK, and now you can see we have a good bit of contrast, which is perfect. 
And now we're going to go to advance and we're going to add a little bit of padding all around it, a bit of breathing space. So let's try maybe 20. Yes, that's fine. Maybe 30 altogether. There you go. And that looks just about perfect now. Now let's take care of our search feature here. So if you click on this, as you can see, this is a short code. So that means that we cannot change the settings immediately from Elementor. So for this, we're going to go back to the WordPress dashboard. And I'm going to show you how you can change those fields here and personalize it based on your own requirements. So we go back to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to go to appearance widgets. And from here you go to property listing top. And there it is. So this is basically what it looks like at the moment. So if you click on it, as you can see, you can select the layout, the style, etc., etc. But what we need here is to click on view field. And now we can customize it and make it our own basically. Okay. So as you can see, so let's go back to the home page for a second. So this is what it looks like at the moment. So we have property type, listing type, bedrooms, bathroom, and a generic search feature here. And this is exactly what we have there. Property type, listing type, bedrooms, and bathroom. So now you can delete any of those all together and you can add whatever fields you feel like you need. Okay. So let's say if I was to remove location here altogether, I'll just remove this. That's it. Okay. Now I can close this. If we click update, so let's go back to our homepage. Let's refresh. And there you go. As you can see, now we don't have the, the location anymore. So it starts with property type, listing type, bedrooms, and bathroom. And then you can run a search. Now let's go back again here and let's edit our fields. Now let's add the location again. So all you have to do is just grab it and then place it here anywhere on this uh, section here. So let's close this. Let's update. Let's go back to our home page and let's refresh. And there it is. As you can see, now we have property type first and this one last. But again, you can move them around and reorganize them as you wish. And then you can reorganize them. So you cannot grab them from here. It's right on the side here. Okay. So just hover on top. As you can see, now you have a, an arrow and now you can move this around. So let's say we're going to place this one first again. And that's it. Now it's back to normal. And you can do so with features. You can do so with appliances. You can do so with address map. You can do so with neighborhood. And as you can see, each uh, section has its own set of uh, searchable features. So let's say for appliances, you can see here you have washing machine, TV, uh, cleaning services, dishwasher, satellite, television. Uh, we have in the features here, you have swimming pool, jacuzzi, heating system, cooling system, elevator, and so on and so on. So it's a very comprehensive search feature here that you can build based on your own requirements. Once you're done, don't forget to click close, update. And now if you go back to the home page and refresh, we should be back to normal basically. Okay. So that's basically how you can create your own custom search feature on your home page. And all you have to do basically after this is click on view short code and then copy this short code and paste it right here. Okay. So this is how this works and that's basically it. So let's click on our section again. And now if you see that you don't have enough space here to, to list all these items next to each other, you might want to adjust the padding here slightly on the right and the left as well. Okay, so let's scroll down the page and let's discover our latest properties. So as you can see, you can change the title here again. You can, all you have to do is just click on this, change the heading and type your text here, whatever you want. And here underneath we have the property listing. So let's go back to our homepage here. And as you can see, this is using Google Maps, but it's not working initially immediately. Uh, it's because we have to create our own API key and link it to our website. So for this, we'll have to go to Google Maps itself. So if you go on to Google and type in Google Maps API, so let me zoom in a little bit, just like this. There you go. Uh, it's the very first one. So it's called developers.google.com forward slash maps. So if you click on this, so it will bring you to this page. And from here, all you have to do is click get started. Very good. So I already have a few different accounts here, obviously, you know, from previous uh, websites that I had. So what you need to do is to click on this arrow here and then create a new project. There you go. So let's call this one Realtina. OK, let's create. And then you can see that now our new project has been created. You have a confirmation here and you have all these uh, messages here. So we can close this all together now, just like this. And now we're going to create our new API key. OK, so for this, we go to credentials. And as you can see, we don't have any API key. So let me zoom in a little bit. It's going to be easier. There you go. So what we need to do is just click on create credentials and we're going to create an API key. So select the very first one here. Click on this. So it's creating a API key at the moment. There it is. Okay, so you can copy it now if you want it to, then you can close. 
Very good. So this is step number one done. We have the API key created. Now we go to APIs and we're going to select a few of them here. So we have maps, JavaScript API. Let's click on this. Now we're going to enable this. OK, so I'll click enable. Very good. So as you can see, this one is now installed and the next one is geocoding API. So this one here, click on it and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to enable it. So I'll click enable. There you go. So the main two APIs that we need for this are now enabled. So we can go back to credentials. And now we're going to restrict that key to those specific APIs and also our specific URL, our website. So I'll click on those dots here. Edit API key. Very good. And as you can see with application restrictions. So the first one is this one here, HTTP refers. So we're going to add an item here. So basically here, we're going to go back to our website and fetch the URL. So copy. And now we go back here and add an item. And this is exactly how you will type it. Okay. So star dot your domain name dot com forward slash star. Okay. This is one done. And then we're going to do the exact same star but no dot this time okay so star your domain name.com forward slash star done and this based on previous experiences works every single time okay and now we're going to restrict the key as well to our specific apis so let's select our api so we had geocoding that was the first one and the other one was maps javascript api click ok and now click save there you go. As you can see, we have a tick mark now. So it is advised by Google to wait maybe five minutes just to make sure that the key is working. And once you've waited five minutes, you can copy and paste the key in your backend. So let's do this together. So we click on show key. Now you copy this. And now let's go to our WordPress dashboard. So this time we go to WPL settings. And from here you have Google API key client side. So let's insert this here, copy and paste. And then scroll down the page until you find the save button. So click on it. Very good. Operation was successful. Now let's go back to our home page. And normally everything going well if you refresh. Now, as you can see, our map is showing with all the different properties. You have the different clusters here and everything. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you know, very easily. There you go. So let's see what's happening in Wilmington here. So if you scroll, uh, zoom in, sorry with all these markers basically. Now, if you click on any of them, as you can see, this is the image of our property, a quick overview, the location, a three bedroom, two bathroom, and the price. We click on the other one, same principle basically, okay? So this is how this is working. Now we have the Google Maps on our homepage. All right, very good. So let's carry on with the rest of our page. So this is the latest properties. Let's scroll down. So this section here, if you click on it, basically it will say this is the property listing. So what kind of property do you want to show? As you can see here, this is property, but you can select the type of listing. You can select, for instance, for, for sale or rent or any. That will, that's what you have at the moment. The property type could be land, commercial sales, farm, commercial lease, residential or any. So this is what we have at the moment. And then you can also have only properties, let's say in Florida, if you're based in Florida, that's all you type FL here for Florida. And that's basically it, you know, you can also do so by price, price per unit, featured, hot offer, open house, foreclosure, etc., etc. Okay, so basically this is how you can customize what properties you want to showcase on your homepage. And then you can define how you want to display this as well. As you can see, you have the display option here. You can select the layout, uh, the target page. So specifically for sale, for agents, for blog, for properties, for rent, vacation, rental, etc. And you can decide how many you want to display. For instance, 6, 12, 18, 24. And you can also have pagination. So basically, if you display six at a time, you could have, uh, for instance, page one, page two, page three, as many pages as you have, obviously. And then your visitors can go from one page to the other immediately from here. OK, so let's keep scrolling down. Let's go to the next section here. So this one is the about us section. So right here, basically, you're going to put a very short, succinct uh, description of your business and the core value of your business. The reason why uh, they should buy from you and trust you, basically, you know, this is very important, obviously. So here you would have, for instance, who we are. 
why they should trust you and the main setting point the reason why they should choose you over anyone else so be very careful obviously here take a lot of time to think about which sentences you're going to put in here because obviously this is very very crucially important in the decision making process so again you can change the background image here if you wanted to change to something else for instance with your own team so all you have to do is click on the section itself right here go to style this is where the image is and now we can replace this with a new one so select file upload file so i've found one here so let's open this then as always insert image very good so as you can see it's not really centered we can see nothing here you see we want we want to see the team here so we go to position here and then let's try maybe bottom right there you go that looks almost perfect maybe bottom center okay it's really up to you i think bottom right is probably better you know and we can keep it like this and i can change the text here obviously you know to fit your own requirements very good so next we have our featured properties okay so let's click on our widget here there you go and as you can see with all the different settings here that we can configure this section so let's have a quick look in the front end so as you can see this is what it looks like it's like a slider and you can go from one to the other so i have the complete description here the price and you can click on this to go to the page of this uh, property itself okay so this is basically what it looks like now let me show you how we can configure this so basically here you can put a title if you want it to but already have the heading here so that's not necessary and then you have the type of layout so as you can see you have list details map modern modern full responsive or multi images so again this is up to you to choose which layout you prefer at the moment the one we have by default is the list so this is basically what it looks like but let's try another one together so let's say maybe a modern full responsive and let's update now let's go to the front end and let's refresh there you go now as you can see a totally different feel all together you know we have the title here on top more info and then you can go from one to the other again please feel free to play around with these you know and select the one that you prefer i think the list one is actually not bad at all it looks pretty neat and then you can assign the image width as well for pcs for tablets for mobile phones the same with the thumbnails and then you can have an autoplay so if you set this up you can define how long uh, which interval in between each slide so in, this is in milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds is one second so if you have 3000 milliseconds every three seconds you'd have a new property showing up on the home page and then we have all the filter properties as well and this is where you define which property you want to show on the home page so what type of listing is it for sale is it for rent and the property type as well land commercial sale farm commercial lease residential and you can also narrow this down by state by county by city by zip code by year built etc etc and this is a very comprehensive way of showing properties on your page because you can show them at random and you can have different rules and or and then you can also display featured hot offers uh, open houses and foreclosure as well okay so next we have our testimonial section here so this is very important obviously for social proof and people like to see what other people think of your business obviously they want to see if it's trustworthy if they can trust you basically okay and for this basically if you click on this you can see this is the dynamic testimonials so as you can glean from its name this is some dynamic content so this is fetched from the back end again so if you go back to our wordpress dashboard you can see we have the testimonial section here you click on this you can see uh, four of them here so liam olivia elijah and noah so if we go back here you can see these are the ones you know liam olivia with elijah and noah as well and here you can define how many you want to show basically you know you can display two maybe one and how many in total so one two three four or six so this is really up to you uh, to decide how many you want to show on your home page and basically here to create a new one all you have to do is click add new well let's just edit one for now it's the same principle basically you know it's very simple to do all you have to do is to put the name right here type in the testimonial here and then you can put the image of the person leaving a testimonials and you can have a url link as well somewhere uh, basically wherever you want you know it could be an internal page as well or whichever you prefer click update once you've done and that's basically how you can create your different testimonials and they'll be shown dynamically on your home page so at the moment as you can see we have three across and if you click on this uh, you can slide from one to the other and we go back here as you can see we have three here so you want maybe to show maybe only maybe four let's say okay let's try four together let's click update now let's go back to our home page and let's refresh and there you go as you can see now you have four of them across obviously because you have only four testimonials there is no slider anymore perhaps if you add two 
and click update again. Let's go back to our home page and let's refresh. Now you can see you can slide from one to the other because we have more than two. Obviously, we have four in total. So this is basically how this works. And now let's discover our next sections. These are our agents. So again, we go back here to the WordPress dashboard. This time to take care of this, we go to WPL user manager. And here they are. We have Giselle, Howard and Sharon. So let's have a quick look. Sharon, Howard and Giselle. So this is basically it, you know. So normally these agents will register themselves on your website. So you don't have to do that, but you can edit the content if you wanted to. So if you go back here, as you can see, you have an edit uh, button. So if you click on this, you could change the name if you wanted to, or maybe upload your own picture or change uh, maybe uh, the link, the email address, some details. You could do that for them over the phone, perhaps if they're asking you or whatever it is, you know, whatever situation it is, you can edit this yourself. And then you can go back to your users here. And this is where you have all the lists basically being displayed. So let's go back to Elementor. So if you scroll down the page, you can see this is our agents here. So let's click on our widget. Very good. And again, here you can configure every aspect of this section. As you can see, you can change the layout. You can define how you want to display it, maybe horizontally or vertically. You can add some CSS classes as well and so on and so on. So this is an easy one again, very self-explanatory as well. OK, so we are nearly there now. So what's our next step is the contact form right here. So you want people to be able to contact you, obviously. So you could put your contact numbers here if you wanted to. Normally in the header, they can ring you immediately. But if it's outside office hours, they might leave you a message and maybe type a message using a contact form, in which case they'll use this one. So if you click on this, as you can see, this is using a short code. And which one is this? Contact form 7 ID 102. So where is this one? How can you change the the format or maybe the layout of this contact form if you wanted to well very easy we go back to our wordpress dashboard we have contact here so this is basically using the contact form 7 plugin which is installed on our website and we're going to find id 102 which is this one here so this is the one that's being used at the moment and if you want to change or tweak this click edit so this is the content of our contact form. As you can see, there's a lot of coding, etc. here. Don't be too afraid. It's very easy to understand. Every div is basically a field. So as you can see, this one here, this is the place where this is to type in your name. This one, this is to type in your email address. This one is to type the subject and so on and so on. So basically div and div, this is basically one section each and every time. Okay, so this is how it works. And then you can add as many fields as you want. So you could delete one, for instance, maybe you don't need the phone number, maybe you don't want the subject or one of them, remove them all together. So let's say we're gonna remove the phone number for now, let's say we remove this one, okay? Now you can save. If you go back to the front end, let's refresh. As you can see, the phone number now is gone. So let's say you want to replace the phone number with something else. So let's go back here and you want to add a new field in between those two. So what you do is just add a space here and now you can select any of those fields. So let's say you wanted to add perhaps a date or something like this, you know, maybe you want to know when they are free to come and visit. So let's put date, okay? So let's give it a name. So let's just call it date, okay? Uh, default value, we're not gonna select anything. Just leave it like this and then insert tag. And as you can see now, our tag has been added and now we need to create the div all around it. So we're just gonna copy this here. So control C, put it here on top and then end div at the bottom, okay? Just like this. And now we need to put the placeholder. So we're gonna put something here. So the placeholder, basically, this is the text that you can see here, basically, okay? So let's put it here and let's call this perhaps, when are you free? When are you free uh, to visit the property? Okay, just like this. Now click save. And now let's have a quick look in the front end. So let's refresh. And as you can see, now we have a date here. So basically we can click on this and select any date that we want. And that's basically it. So that's how you can add different fields to your contact form. Now, obviously you want that email to reach you. So we go to mail now. And make sure to type in your email address here. So this is to make sure that that's going to reach you, you know. And right here, we need to change this here. Instead of sesame.reality.com, we're going to change this and type in your domain name. So mrwebreviews.com, okay? So basically, the end here, at something something, has to be the same as the URL of your website, okay? And then you can change the subject here. So maybe contact uh, details, 
or property inquiry or whatever it is okay and then that's basically it okay and now you can insert anything in the content here as you can see it is using those tags so you have your name your email your subject your message as you can see date is not being used so if you click on this we can paste it right there okay so Control c Control v so grab this Control c and then here available sorry available date and you can put your date right here okay now let's click save and that's basically it so let's put this to the test now okay so we go back here to the front end let's refresh so let's fill out the form so let's say someone called john doe he's inquiring so his email address is john.doe at email.com subject property in florida so the date let's say the 19th okay and this is my message okay so let's send the message very good as you can see the confirmation uh, message here thank you for your message it has been sent now you can customize this as well uh, based on your own personal requirements so if you go back here as you can see of messages and you can change all your messages as well so please uh, thank you for your message we'll get back to you within three to four hours or within one working day or so whatever it is okay now let me show you the email i received in my mailbox so there it is as you can see contact details property in florida uh, john doe that's his email address uh, we have the body message so this is my message and the available date so this is as simple as that okay very good so that's basically it for the home page now so just make sure that you click update once you're done and do so every now and again you know just to be on the safe side every section that you change click update to save your work just to be on the safe side okay so once you're done with our page we can go back to the wordpress dashboard we click on exit go back again and then you can do the same with all the other pages now the home page is the only one that's using elementor at the moment but maybe you want to create an about us page a contact us page or whatever it is you know then in which case you can just click add new and create your page and design it the way you want it so let's say if you wanted to add a contact us page click add new let's call this one contact us publish publish now you can edit with elementor very good and now you can drag and drop any item on that page as you want so let's create maybe two different sections so on the left we'll have your contact details on the other side perhaps the contact form we could insert the same contact form here okay so what we would do perhaps is to add some text so text editor right here and then you can type in your details so perhaps something like this you know keep it simple you know just put your name your address your location phone number email address and right here we can have the contact form so again we go back to our short code here we have the contact contact us this is the one we had so Control c we go back here and now we're going to install the form So basically this is a short code okay so short code drag and drop and paste it here and now click update and there you go we have a very simple contact page now added to our website so if you go back to our wordpress dashboard these are all our pages you can see have contact us here and this is uh, using elementor and we can have a quick look you know so let's have a quick uh, look at it so in the front end and this is what it looks like so again very simple but functional okay very good so we're nearly there now only two steps left i'm going to show you how to change your menu section here and also how to customize your footer section so for this again we go back to our wordpress dashboard okay so first let's take care of our menu section so we go to appearance menus and the first thing that you make sure to do is to select the right menu here so main menu that's the one here on top okay click select Make sure this is the right one that you, you chose, that you selected. And as you can see, this is our menu section here with home, properties, agents, and blogs. So home, properties, agents, and blogs. And the properties here with menu and submenu. So for rent, for sale, and vacation rental. And this is exactly what we have here, okay? So let me show you how you can add pages to your menu section, how you can remove them, and how you can move them around as well. So we just created the contact us page. As you can see, it's right here. So these are all our pages. You can select post, you can add custom links as well, or category. So let's add a page here, the last one that we created, contact us, add to menu. And it will automatically add this at the bottom of our menu section right here okay now you can move this around as well so if you click on this as you can see you can move it around wherever you want it you may want it maybe after home so home and then contact us if you click save let's go back to the home page now let's refresh 
there you go as you can see a home contact us properties agent and blog so if i click on this it will bring us automatically to our contact page so let's go back here now you can also rename this maybe you don't want it to be contact us maybe just contact okay and then all you have to do is click save and that's basically it you know if you go back to the home page and let's refresh as you can see now it says contact instead of contact us so basically you can move this around that's as easy as that now if you want to delete a page you can do this very easily you can either bulk select it's like this one let's say you don't want the blog section here remove it all together you can do this and then remove selected items or you can click on the page itself and then click remove all together here okay well, we're just going to keep this for now so let's click save now and that's basically it so this is how you can change your menu section and add as many pages as you want to it okay and finally let's take care of our footer section as you can see this is divided in four different sections here with the about us properties recent post and search so this is basically our blog post this is a menu section again this is search and this is text okay so if you go back here we can change the menu section right here so as you can see of properties click select and this is the exact same principle basically you know as you can see a for rent for sale properties and vacation rental now you can add any pages as that you want so as you can you can see the right here you know but you can add your agents as well if you wanted to let's add the agents let's click save now if we go back to our page here and refresh as you can see the agents page has been added now let's go back here now let's take care of the other section so for this we go to widgets you can close this now and we're going to look for the footer section now, as you can see a footer colon one two three and four if you click on this we have an about us section and this is basically where you can edit the content so all you have to do is just click on it and this is just like a text document you know so you can type here whatever it is you know real estate company name and then you can put some description here da da di da 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 you know and this is the about us section let's click update now we go back to our home page our page and refresh and as you can see real estate company name is simply da 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 and this is where you type your text okay so we have done this and that now now we have the recent post so this is the third area as you can see so if you go back here scroll down now we're going to edit the footer column three so let's click on this and there you go as you can see if you click on this you can edit so these are the recent posts so again it's up to you do you want to use it yes or no it might be handy for news purposes you know if this is the case how many do you want to display so there's five at the moment maybe you don't want to display only three so let's click update let's refresh and there you go as you can see now we have three of them displaying at the moment so let's go back here and let's edit our last column here so column number four this is a search term so this is basically a search feature and again this is really up to you do you want it or not if you don't want it you can delete all together click on this remove legacy widget click update let's go back to our page let's refresh and that's basically it you know so this is very flexible again you can add whatever you want you can add different menu sections here if you wanted to as well very easily and you can trick this around to fit your own personal requirements now let me show you how fully customizable this solution is this is the most comprehensive solution this far that we've tried and tested so if we go to wpl as you can see with all these different sections here that you can use to configure and customize your website even further so as you can see the first one is data structure so let's click on this very good and as you can see this is where you can configure all the terms used on your website so you have the categories here so of res residential commercial and land so again you can click on this and if you wanted to rename this all you have to do is just change this term here and type in whatever you want and you can do so with any of them obviously you know and you can even add more if you wanted to so if you wanted to add a fourth one or remove some you can do so as well so if you wanted to add a new one so let's say triple x here let's click save there you go it's going to refresh now we have our new term here as you can see triple x now if you want to delete that you can click on this a small bin are you sure yes and there you go now obviously use caution when deleting a section because this might be linked to some properties on your website already and then you have the property types as well as you can see of land commercial sale farm 
a commercial lease residential now this is really up to you you could name this differently you know it could be totally uh, different uh, now based on your business model you can tweak this around uh, again based on your own requirements so you have the listing types as you can see for sale for rent vacation rental you can uh, select the type of pin that you want to use uh, the marker you know and so on and so on you have the unit manager again as you can see you have the conversion exchange rate uh, immediately done here for you you have the sort options so listing a price bedroom pictures add date listing and so on and so on and then even room types so you have all the different types of rooms so you can even have bedroom living room guest room dining room kitchen etc etc so as you can see this is a fully comprehensive solution now on top of this if you go into flex here we have the full property data structure as you can see here we have the basic detail for instance property title property description listing setting you have all the different features for example uh, rooms and sizes energy tag features swimming pool jacuzzi heating system we have the same for appliances we have the same for address maps neighborhood so you can customize this again based on any requirements that you have now a very important feature here is the specialty so otherwise named tags so these are your tags so as you can see a featured hot offer open house and foreclosure now you cannot delete these but you can edit the title itself the term itself so let's say instead of open house or hot offer you wanted to rename this differently all you have to do is click on the pencil here and then change the name whatever it is that you want you can even change the general option here how you want it to be searchable show it in detail page search widget and so on and so on and then once you're done click save and that's basically it and now you can use this as your tags as you can see the type is tags on your website and now we also have the location so let's click on this there you go so at the moment we only loaded united states but you could add another country maybe perhaps uh mexico or canada as well you know so if you wanted to add a uh, country just click on this type in the name the abbreviation click save and that's basically it and now you'll be ready to import properties from that country and finally last but not least you have the payments options there you go so you have the e-wallet paypal bank paypal payment multi-safe and pay fast as well so there you go this is a well-rounded fully comprehensive solution that is guaranteed to earn you a lot of money and again to generate money you have to be found first your website has to rank in a, with the search engine like a google for instance so for this there is a beautiful feature built in as well in this system so if you go to settings and from here you go to seo and here you have the full SEO pattern. As you can see, you have all these codes here. So this is like short codes being used to create the title, uh, the page title, the meta description, and meta keywords, which are necessary for you to rank uh, in the Google search results. So if you were to look, for instance, for property for sales in New York, you have the listing, as you can see, you have the title, uh, the description, and all the meta tags and everything. All of this will help you to rank higher in the search results. So this is all built in in the same solution. And then finally, how do you import all these properties on your website? For this, you go to MLS add-on. As you can see, this is right here. This is where you can start the mapping of your different properties. And again, this is fully compatible with RETS and RESO Web API. But again, if you face any difficulties during the installation, don't hesitate to contact the support team at Realtina. They're always there to help you and they are very, very uh, skilled, knowledgeable and always ready to help.